Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Welcome, welcome to Christ Center, International House of God. Praise God. Let us worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. For He alone is worthy to receive power, honor, hallelujah. Make sure you share this video. We're going to have a powerful night. God is going to do something new. Something miraculous. People will get healed. People will get delivered. We'll be saved. Restored in the name of Jesus. For God is a God of His. God is a God. There is nothing impossible for Him. There is nothing impossible with God. And today will be a day of supernatural. In the name of Jesus. So tune your heart. With the heart of God today. And lift up your heart to Him now. And begin to worship with us. Stand up. And begin to lift up your hands to the Lord. And begin to worship Him. In spirit and truth. In the name of Jesus. It's like you are in church. In the name of Jesus. Jesus now you stand up and begin to worship him now. And say, Lord, I want more today. I want more today. I want more today. More of your glory. More of your grace. More of your presence. I want more Jesus. We want more of you. We want to know you, Lord. We want to know you, Jesus. We want to worship you. We want to give you glory. We want to lift you high. For you are God. You are the Lord. You are healer. You are deliverer. You are the one who sustains us. You are the one who preserves us. We give you the glory. We give you the power. In the name of Jesus. We honor you tonight. Lord, we thank you for tonight. In the name of Jesus, you will touch our lives in a place. Where nobody can. A new grace. New grace. The power of grace. Will come upon our life tonight. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Send it to the people in the church with the message. Praise God. Hallelujah. We bless your name. We bless your name. We bless your name. He's worthy. He's worthy. We receive honor. We receive praise. Make sure you send it to your friends and the church people. Because tonight is a powerful night. Tonight is a night of healing. Tonight is a night of restoration. Tonight, tonight is very important. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you. Can you put on the other uh, instrumental worship song now, please? Praise God, praise God. Just come out, just come out from the whole thing. Yeah. Praise God. Hallelujah. It says violin right there. No, no, up more. No, no, down. Yes. No, no, no. Right there. Yeah, that one. Praise God. So welcome again. 
If you have your Bibles, if you have your Bibles, open it up at Hebrews 4.16. Hebrews 4.16 It's going to be a very important word. It's going to bless your life. If you have Hebrews 4.16 before you, make sure that you don't read this just a video. Act like you are in church. Take out your Bible and participate in this. If you participate, God will touch you tonight. If you just watch it like another video, nothing will happen. Hallelujah. Can you put down the volume on the bit, please? I shared it on the groups already. That's not what I said to you. Praise God. Hebrews 4.16. Just send it a message. That's all. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hebrews 4.16. You have it? Let us then approach the throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Járuljunk azért bizodalommal a kegyelem király székéhez, hogy irgalmasságot nyerjünk, és kegyelmet találjunk alkalmas időben való segítségül. Praise God. Can you put on the volume more? Please. Thank you. Hallelujah. And we have one more verse. És van még egy ige. James 4.6. Az a Jakab 4.6. But he gives more grace. Therefore it says, God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Amen. Nagy kegyelmet azért mondja az Isten a kevéknek, vagy is a büszkéknek ellene áll, az alázatosoknak pedig kegyelmet ad. Amen. Praise the Lord. Did you hear that? Hallottad ezt? Hallelujah. So we have two verses here. That it can't get one. One of them says. Egyik azt mondja. When there is a time of need. Hogy van a szükségnek az ideje. When we need help, we must approach the throne of grace with confidence. Amen? Amen. That we may receive mercy and find grace. Amen? Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In James 4, 6, it says that he gives more grace. He gives more grace. But God resists the proud. Okay, God opposes the proud. But gives grace to the humble. So right now, let us pray. Let us approach the throne of grace. Together. Amen. Amen. And as we approach God with confidence, and we humble ourselves. We will find mercy. We will find grace. Are you listening? Let's go right now. Heavenly Father. In the name of Jesus. We come before your throne of grace. All of us, O oh Lord, together. In unity, Lord. We ask you, Lord, for your mercy. Mercy. And your grace. We pray, Father. In the name of Jesus. That as you give us mercy and grace. Give us, O oh Lord. Understanding. Knowledge. And wisdom in Jesus' name that we may know the power of your grace, that we may understand your graces in the name of Jesus. Because we know only by your grace we're going to be able to make it. Only by your grace we can serve you. Only by your grace we be able to endure unto the end. By your grace, 
We are able to stay free from sin. Only by your grace. Only by your grace. I give you praise in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. We're going to talk about today the power of grace. The power of grace. Because we need the grace of God. That has limitless power. To be able to endure the times now. And ahead. And to enforce his purposes upon this world. According to the call of God. On each of our lives. As we received and answered. To fulfill his ministry. Through our life as a willing vessel. Az életünk keresztül, mint egy akaró edényen. By the power of His grace. Az ő kegyelmének ereje által. One of the most misunderstand, misunderstood word. Az egyik legfére értettebb ige. In our Christian world. A keresztény világunkban. Is the word grace. A kegyelem a szó. We need to understand what grace is. Meg kell érteni, mi ez a kegyelem. Now I know in Hungarian we have uh, kegyelem. A magyarban kegyelem van. Just a little bit down, tiny bit, yes. Now, but but grace. Okay, grace is so much more. Hallelujah. And by the great, by the Holy Spirit. By His help. We're gonna be able to define what grace is tonight. And when we get understanding of His grace, we'll get to know Him better. We'll get closer to him. Amen. Amen. In Ephesians 2:8. We have a wonderful scripture that says, "For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves; it is the gift of God." Mert kegyelemből tartottatok meg hit által, és az nem tőletek van Isten ajándéka ez. Hallelujah. The first and first and for most, foremost. És ez ez a legfontosabb. Okay, that by grace we have been saved through faith. Hogy kegyelem által tartottuk meg hit által. Why? Miért? Hallelujah. It was. It says not of yourselves. It's a gift of God. Because we know that grace comes from God. And we are saved through faith. And even the faith that you are saved through. It comes from the spirit of faith, Holy Spirit. He gives you faith. So that you are able to believe God. And that becomes a bridge between you and God. And by faith, you're able to receive grace. And only through faith, we're able to receive anything from God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So number one thing we have to understand that the grace of God is because we are saved. Okay, God's grace is undeserved. It's honored and honored goodwill. Love and acceptance. That is freely given to us because of what Christ did on the cross in our behalf. Hallelujah. We have not only been forgiven of our sin, but we have been adopted into the family of God, and we enjoy rich benefits. Simply because God loves us. And Jesus bought us with his own blood. Now you're going to learn it very soon. That the grace of God is big. And it has many different forms. 
as the same way water has many different forms. Ugye, ugye a víznek is van több formája. Water can be liquid. Lehet az folyadék a víz. Can be gas. Vagy gáz. Or it can be solid. Vagy lehet like ice. Or lehet mint a például a jég. Okay, it has many different forms. Több formája van. But grace has also many different streams. Annak is sok több folyamai vannak. Okay. Now the first thing, just a little bit done. Just a, uh, watch this. We're going to talk about the source of grace now. A fogunk a kegyelemnek a forrásáról beszélni. What is the source of grace? Mi a kegyelemnek a forrása? God the Father. Az Atya Isten. He is the source of grace. Ő a kegyelemnek a forrása. Jesus who is the only begotten son of God. Jézus az Istenek egyszülött fia. He is the author of grace. Ő a a a a Fejedelme a kegyelemnek. Autor. A szerzője. Mm -hmm. John 1, 16, 17 says this. And of his fullness, we have all received and grace for grace. For the law was given through Moses, but grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. János 1, 16, 17. És az ő teljességéből vettünk minyán kegyelmet és kegyelemért, mert a törvény Mózes által adatott, kegyelem pedig is az igazság Jézus Krisztus által lett. Halleluja! And the Holy Spirit. És a Szent Szellem. He is the one who manifests the grace of God. Ő az, aki megjelenti az Isten kegyelmét. He is the one who manifested. Ő az, aki megjelenti. Ádám úr, én So, we know that God is gracious. Our Father is gracious, and He is the source of grace. Another definition of grace for you. A másik definíció kegyelemre. It is God's riches. Az Isten gazdagsága. At Christ's expense. Krisztusnak az ára. Krisztusnak az ára. Okay, or um, Christ's expense, so that He paid for it, right? God's riches because of what Christ did on the cross. Okay. Bestowed favor that we don't deserve. Okay. The grace of God appears in the election of many of them to everlasting life. And that's why it's called the election of grace. Is denied and and is denied to be of works. It's not of works. That's not munka. Not munka at all. Romans eleven five and six says this. Even so, then, at this present time, there's a remnant according to the election of grace. And if by grace, then it is no longer of works. Otherwise, grace is no longer grace. But if it of works, it is no longer grace. Otherwise, work is no longer work. Róma 11.5.6. Eképpen azért most is van maradék a kegyelemből való választás szerint. Hogyha pedig kegyelemből, akkor nem cselekedetekből. Különben a kegyelem nem volna többé kegyelem. Hogyha pedig cselekedetekből, akkor nem kegyelemből. Különben cselekedet nem volna többé cselekedet. Did you hear that God is elected us for grace? Isten kiválasztott minket a kegyelemre. We are elected to have grace. And it's not of works. Okay, grace of God is not something that you work for it. Not because of how you pray. Not because that you try to achieve it. It must be received. Oh, and you can only receive it when you humble yourself and you empty yourself. Because God resists the proud, but He gives grace to the humble. Oh, praise God! You're going somewhere. See, grace moves well beyond unmerited favor. Tehát túl, túl megy a, a nagy szívességen ki, uh, nagy szívességen. Okay. Salvation by God's unmerited favor. Hát az üdvesség Isten kimeretetlen uh, kegyelme szerint. Is expressed as grace. Az ki van jelentve, mint a kegyelem. Hallelujah. 2 Corinthians 9.8. 2 Corinthians 9.8. It says this. God is able to make all grace abound towards you. That you always having 
all sufficiency in all things may have an abundance for every good work. 2 Korintus 9:8. Az Isten pedig hatalmasan, hogy rátok árassza minden kegyelmét, hogy mindenben mindenkor teljes elégségetek lévén, minden jó tételére bőségben legyetek. Did you hear that? Hallottad ezt? By understanding grace tonight. Ja, megértsük ma este a kegyelmet. That mercy is more than just forgiveness of sins. Hogy írgalom az több, mint csak a bűn bocsánat. No. That, that, that grace is more. Hogy a kegyelem az több, mint a bűn bocsánat. Okay? Grace is so much more than that. Sokkal több, mint az. And if you don't know. És hogyha nem tudod. That you must be able to receive more grace. Hogy több kegyelmet kell venned. Do you know that we need grace every day? Tudod, hogy minden nap szükségünk van a kegyelemre? Did you know that we need grace not just for sin? Nem csak a bűn miatt. Let me tell you something. Hogy mondjak el valamit. If you stuck down. Hogyha ott ragadt. No, if you stuck down in a place. Hogyha egy helyen ragadt. Okay. If you stuck down by just saying that Lord, I need your mercy because I sinned. Ugye azért, mert mondod az Úrnak, hogy Uram, uh, írgalmat uh, ad nekem, hogy mert bűn cselekedtem. Grace. A kegyelmet. Okay. If you just talk down there, csak ott ragad, you're still a baby. Kövő mindig egy baba vagy. You're, you're still at the beginning. Mindig a kezdetén vagy. No matter how long you've been saved. Nem számít mi ott értél meg. You have to understand something. Meg kell értened valami. We need grace. Szükségünk van a kegyelemre. Not just for forgiveness of sins. Nem csak bűnök bocsánatára. No, we need grace to do His work. Hanem az Hallelujah. munkáját cselekedjük. We need grace. Szükségünk van a kegyelemre. To walk in the spirit. Yes. Járjuk szellemben. We need grace to stay free from sin. Kell kegyelem, hogy szabadok legyünk bűntől. We need grace. Szükségünk van a kegyelemre. For everything in our Christian life. Mindenben a keresztény életünkben. We need grace to be fruitful. És szükségünk van arra is, hogy gyümölcsözőek legyünk. Only by His grace you are allowed to minister in this uh, kingdom. Csak is az ő kegyelme által szolgálsz a királyságban. Look at what the Passion Translation says. Uh, nézd, hogy mit mond a, a Passion, uh, 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 passion Translation. Watch this. Yes, God is more than ready. So, igen, ő, ő több Isten ő, jobban készen van. Ready to overwhelm you. De készen van, hogy túl ár, árasszon. With every form of grace. Mindenfajta kegyelemmel. Did you hear that? Every form of grace. Mindenfajta kegyelemmel. Which means there are different types of grace. Ami azt jelenti, hogy többfajta kegyelem van. Did you hear that? Hallelujah. Oh, let's, let, let's just learn about a couple of these graces, okay? Csak tanuljunk pár dolgot a kegyelemről. You have the actual grace. Van ugye maga a kegyelem. God's intervention az Istennek a beavatkozása in the process of our justification ami megigazolásunknak a folyamatában which also called a saving grace amit úgy is hívnak, hogy megmentő kegyelem and many people és sok ember they just only know csak, tudja, csak azt tudják amazing grace csodálatos kegyelmet mm-hmm. That's all they know. Csak annyit tudnak. The saving grace. Megmentő kegyelmet. But there is also a sanctifying grace. De van egy megszentelő kegyelem is. The permanent disposition to remain in communion with God. A jelenlegi... Uh, the permanent to, to, to be help you hogy segítsen neked to stay in communion with God. Hogy ő közösében legyél Istennel. Oh, ha sanctifying grace. Megszentelő kegyelem. Hallelujah. Sanctifying grace. Yes, hallelujah Jesus. And now you know it. Sos már tudod. And you know it. Sos már tudod. That heavenly Father. De mennyi atya. Is the source of grace. A kegyelemnek forrása. So you ask Heavenly Father for the sanctifying grace in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit is the one who manifests the grace in your life. Today the grace of God and all the different types of grace will invade your life. És mindenfajta kegyelem uh, rájön az életedre. And will rearrange your life. És rendbe teszi az életedet. Philippians 1.6 says about the sanctifying grace. A Filippi 1.6 ezt mondja. Being confident of this very thing that he who has begun a good work in you will complete until the day of Jesus Christ. Filippi uh-huh. 1.6 Meglévén győződve arról, hogy aki elkezdte bennetek a jó dolgot és munkát elvégzi a Krisztus Jézusnak napjáig. So there is a sanctifying 
grace that is working by the Holy Spirit in you and sanctifies your life. But only, but only, when you go to Him, you know Holy Spirit can be resident. A Szent Szelem lehet lakos, but not necessarily a president. De nem biztos, hogy az elnöke. You have to go to him every day. Minden nap hozzá kell menned. You have to ask him, help me to pray. Kérdezd, hogy segíts yes, nekem Lord. imádkozni, Uram. Holy Spirit, Szent Szellem, sanctify me. Meg, szentelj meg engem. I need that grace, O oh Lord. Szükségem van arra a kegyelemre, Uram. Sanctify me, Lord. Szentelj meg, Uram. You have to go to him. Hozzá kell menned. Praise the name of Jesus. Now there is also the graces of the Father. Watch this. There is there is the seven gifts of grace of the Father. No, seven gifts of grace. No, a hét kegyelem ajándéka, Niki, A hét kegyelem A hét kegyelem From the Father. This is in Romans 12. Romans 12. 1 to 10. A Roma 12, 1 to Which are these? Prophecy. A profecia, service. A teaching. Panitas, exhortation. Like exhortation. short short preaching. Administration. administratio. Giving. Adakozás, and mercy. És these are the seven gifts of grace of the Father. Tehát ez az atyának a hét uh, ajándék az ő. Az ő hét kegyelmi ajándék az atyának. Az ő hét kegyelmi ajándék az atyának. Praise God. Mm. Now you have also the graces of Jesus. És van Jézusnak is kegyelme. The five ascension gifts of Jesus Christ. Az öt uh, felmenő kegyelme Jézus Krisztusnak. No. Okay. Ephesians 4, 11 to 12. Az Efézus 4, 11, 12. The apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor and teacher. Az apostol, proféta, pastor, uh, tanító és evangelista. Okay, the fivefold ministry. Az öt fő szolgálat. They are the great, the, the grace gifts of the Father. Put it on. Az az atyának a kegyelmi ajándékai. Yeah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Did you hear that? Now there's also grace of the Holy Spirit. Son a Szent Szelemnek is kegyelmi ajándékai. Isaiah 11, 2. The Spirit of the Lord is rest upon me. The Spirit of wisdom and understanding, the Spirit of counsel and might, the Spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. So when you have communion with Holy Spirit, when you pray to Jesus, when you pray to the Father in Jesus' name, when you speak in tongues, you have access right away. You can ask Holy Spirit. Lord, I need wisdom. Lord, I need understanding. Lord, I need counsel. Lord, I need your might. I need knowledge. And right away you have access. He gives it to you. If you ask. And you don't receive because you don't ask. There's also the nine spiritual gifts of the Holy Spirit. These are the graces of the Holy Spirit. 1 Corinthians 12, 1 to 20. Which is wisdom, knowledge, faith and healing, miracles, prophecy, discernment, tongues, and interpretation of tongues. Nine gifts of the Holy Spirit. And if Holy Spirit is in you, you have all nine gifts in you. You just have to fulfill the requirement how to flow in these gifts. And according to the need, Holy Spirit will give you that gift. Praise God! There is also something that called the miraculous grace. No, Miraculous grace. Acts 6 8. 
8.8. In the NIV it says it like this. Now Stephen, a man full of God's grace and power, performed great wonders and signs among the people. István pedig teljes lévén hittel és erővel nagy csodákat és jeleket cselekszik fel a népek között. Okay, so in the NIV it said God's grace and power. Az NIV van szó, hogy Istenek a kegyelme és ereje. Praise God. But the other translation says, Másik and mondja, also the King James says it too, that faith and power. Hogy hit és erő. Okay, faith and power. Why? Miért azt mondja? Because Hebrews 11, 6 says, mert a zsidó 11.6 Without faith it is impossible to please God. Azt mondja, zsidó 11, hogy hit nélkül lenne Istenek tetszeni. For he who comes to God must believe that he is. Az aki Istenhez jön, hinnie kell, hogy ő létezik. And he's a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. És jutalmazója azoknak, akik keresek, keresik őt. So, if you need the graces of God in your life. Mi szükségem van Isten kegyelmére az életedben. And the different types of grace. Különféle fajta kegyelmekre. And you want to be rewarded by the Father. És az atyáta jut, akar jutalmazzon. You must diligently seek him. Uh, szolgalmasan keresned kell őt. Diligently seek him. Szolgalmasan keresni. Diligently seek him. Szolgalmasan keresni. Diligently. Szolgalmasan. Seek him. Keresd őt. Every day. Minden nap. Every, every moment you have. Minden pillanatról, amint van. Use it. Használd ki. The only eternal value. Az egyik örökkivaló dolog. Érték. Érték. The only eternal value. Az egyetlen örökkévaló érték. When you have communion with God. Amikor közösséget van Istennel. When you serve Him. Amikor szolgálod őt. When He asks you something and you do it. Amikor kiértőled valamit és megteszed. These have eternal values. Ez ennek van örökkévaló értékei. Everything else will pass away. Minden más elmúlik. Hallelujah. Now there is also something that is very important. És van valami nagyon fontos. Learn this well. There is a sustaining grace. Sustaining grace. Hebrews 4.16 Which we read at the beginning. Let us then approach the throne of grace with confidence that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in a time of need. Járjunk azért bizodalommal, kegyelem királyi széki, az oh. irgalmasságot nyerünk és kegyelmet találjuk alkalmas időben a segítségül. Every day. Minden egyes nap. We need a sustaining grace. Szükségünk van megtartó kegyelemre. That's why you're able to stay with the Lord. Azért tudsz az Úrral maradni. That's why you're able to stand firm with the Lord. Azért tudsz megállni erősen az Úrral. Because. Azért. He sustains you with His grace. Megtartó az Ő kegyelmével. But there is a requirement. De van egy feltétele. For a sustaining grace. Megtartó kegyelemnek. Psalm 55:22. A Zsoltár 55:22-ben. Cast. Your burden on the Lord, and He shall sustain you, and He shall never permit the righteous to be moved. Hallelujah. Jóta előtt felett huszon kettő vessel az Úrra te terhedet, ő gondot visel rólad, és nem engedi valamikor ingadozzék az igaz. Now, if you're already righteous, ha már igaz vagy, because you're born again, mert újra születtél, you receive Jesus as Lord and Savior, elfogadta Jézus, mint Uradnak megváltoznak. You're filled with the Holy Spirit. Beletéted a Szent Szellemmel. You know that you are saved. Tudod, hogy üdvözültél. You know that you have relationship with God. Tudod, hogy van a kapcsolatod Istennel. Okay. Then if you're righteous, there's only one more requirement you have to fulfill. To be able to access the sustaining grace. So that you have longevity. Then no, 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 longevity. So that you are so you are always saved. That you don't fall left and right. One week you're Christian, next week you're not Christian. Okay? One more requirement. You must cast your burden on the Lord. You say, Jesus, I have problems. He knows. But if you don't give it to him, you still have it. Még akkor ott van veled. True. Say Lord Jesus. Úr Jézus. I have this and this problem. Ez is ez a problémám van. Now I put it on your shoulder. Most már a vállaidra teszem azt. I cast it on you Lord. Yes. Te rád vetem Uram. And now I know. Most már tudom. You will sustain me. Megtartasz engem. By the sustaining grace of God. Az Istenek megtartó kegyem által. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sustain you. Megtart téged. In the Hebraic is kavul. A Héberben az kavul. It means maintain. Az ő megtartani. Uh, maintain. Karban tartani. Support. 
támogatni, nourish, táplálni, hold you, megtart, and endure. És kitartasz. Five things. Öt dolog. Five is the number of grace. Öt is az a kegyelemnek a száma. Watch this. Mm. So cast your burden on the Lord. Tehát vesz az urat terhedet. And He shall maintain you. És ő megtart téged. And support you. Támogat téged. He will also nourish you. Táplál téged. And hold you. Megtart téged. So you can endure unto the end. Hogy ki tud tartani a végéig. Did you hear that? Oh, yeah, yeah. So when you cast your burden on the Lord. Szóval vetted a terhedet. He shall maintain, support, nourish, hold and endure. Hallelujah. Amen. This is why the Bible says, Matthew 24:13. But he who endures to the end shall be saved. This is why the Bible says that. But you can only endure to the end if you cast your burden on the Lord. Daily. So you give you you give him your issues. You give him your sickness. You give him your problems. You give him everything. So that you can receive his grace. His sustaining grace. Healing power. And as I say it right now, there's people getting healed. Now, what is grace? Now, if you open up the word grace, and you look inside of it, to examine it deeper, then you find two words. In the Greek, charis. In the Hebraic, is ken. Okay. Charis means favor. Okay, so it's not your sibashik. Charis in the Greek is favor. That's uh and divine influence upon the heart. Now heart is in the in, in the in the Bible, you know it's the spirit, it's lab, right? So it is a divine influence on the spirit of man. Tehát is, hogy befolyás az emberi szellemen. Okay, so what is favor? Tehát mi a szívesség? Hallelujah. It is approval. Az az elfogadás. It is acceptance. Át az elfogadás. Special benefits. Különleges jutalom. Blessings. Áldások. Grace, mercy. Kegyelem, írgalom. Okay, this is favor. Ez a szívesség. Divine influence. Isteni befolyás. Is also called the divine grace. Which operates in believers to regenerate. Ami működik a a hívőkben, hogy újra regenerálódjanak. No. To regenerate and sanctify. Just say sanctify. Hogy megszentelődjenek. To inspire. Hogy inspiráljon. To impart strength. Hogy erőt adjon át. To endure trial. Hogy a megpróbáltatásban kitartson. Resist temptation. Elutasítsa a and as an individual virtue or excellence of divine origin. Praise God, you don't have to translate it. It's too good. Hallelujah. So, see what divine influence is. Hallelujah. Upon the heart. Upon the spirit of man. Okay, why you need that? Because the grace of God, the power of grace, helps you in temptation, helps you in trials, okay, gives you strength. Without grace, you cannot stay Christian one day. Okay, so this is what divine influence upon the heart means. Now, grace in Hebrew is can. A, a kegyelem a Héberben az kell, which means divine enablement. Ami azt jelenti, hogy Isteni uh, képesítés, képesség. Okay. What does this mean? Mit jelent ez? To be able to do the things, hogy meg tud tenni a dolgokat, what would be not possible, ami lehetetlen lenne, to do without receiving, hogy megted annék, hogy vennéd, the power of grace from Holy Spirit. A kegyelemnek az erejét a Szent Szellemtől. It is like a supernatural amit egy természet fölötti on your natural. A te természetedben. Mm. Hallelujah. So, a természetesed ember. 
Okay? It's a supernatural ability. Természet fölötti képesség. Something. Valami. That empowers you. Ami megerősít téged. And gives you inspiring energy. És ad neked inspiráló energiát. In, in inspiring wind. Inspiráló uh, szelet ad. It gives you inspiring. Tehát inspiráló. Hallelujah. Words. Szavakat ad. The words that you need at the moment. A, a szavakra szükséged van a pillanatban. The blessing that you need at the moment. A bazárdásban mi szükséged van. It gives you divine enablement. A neked Isteni képesség. So you're able to say the right words to someone. Hogy megfelelő szavakat tud mondani valakinek. Pray the right prayers. És imádkozz a megfelelő imád. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now why grace is given? Miért adatik a kegyelem? Very important question. In 2 Timothy 1, 9 to 10 says this. Watch this now. Who has saved us and called us with a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given to us in Christ Jesus before time began, but has now been revealed by the appearing of our Savior, Jesus Christ, who has abolished death and brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. 2 Timóteus 1, 9-10 Aki megtartott minket és hívott szent hívással, nem a mi cselekeretenk szerint, hanem az ő sárt végzése és kegyelme szerint, mely adatot nekünk Krisztus Jézus örök időknek előtte megjelentetett, pedig most a mi megtartóknak Jézus Krisztusnak megjelenése által, aki eltörölte a halált, világosságra hozta pedig az életet és halhatatlanságot az evangélium által. Now there is a lot of here right now. Uh, hát itt sok van. But I'm just gonna bring out something. Csak kihozok ebből valamit. Why grace is given? Mi a kegyelem. God loves us of course. Persze Isten szeret minket. Okay, but the Bible says here. De te Biblia azt mondja. As I said there is different types of graces. Ugye mondtam, hogy többfajta kegyelem van. Different streams. Többfajta folyamok. He gave it to us to his own purpose. For his own purpose. You are healed for his own purpose. You are delivered to carry out your high calling to fulfill not your purpose his purpose. Amen. His purpose. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. praise the name of Jesus. Now, how can grace flow in our life? How we can flow? How we can access this grace? And the many different graces. Mm. So that our life is empowered with the graces of God. Number one. A grace. A kegyelem. Can only flow from your spirit. Csak a szellemedből tud az folyni. One more time. Grace. Még egyszer a kegyelem. Can only flow, flow from your spirit. Csak a szellemedből tud az folyni. Because Holy Spirit. A Szent Szellem. And your spirit. A szellemed. At salvation. Üdvösségkor. Became one. Egy lelkül. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And every grace flows like a stream from your spirit. But as long as you walk in the spirit, you have to walk in the spirit. You have to stay in the spirit. Galatians 5.16 says this, I say then walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Azt mondja a Galata 5.16, hogy ne uh, járjátok szellembe és ne töltsétek be a testnek a cselekedeteit. So if you walk in the spirit, szellembe jársz, you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Akkor nem fogod betölteni a testnek cselekedeteit. If you fulfill the lust of the flesh, ha betöltöd a testnek cselekedeteit, no. kívánságát. Nikki, look it up, what it says over there. Kívánság. Okay, then say that. And you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. If you fulfill the lust of the flesh, it's an evidence. 
akkor ez egy bizonyíték. That you are not walking in the spirit. Mm. Hogy nem jársz szellemben. Mm. Mm. And the graces of God. És az Istennek kegyelmei. The healing that is in your spirit. See, everything we need in Christian life. Minden amire szükség van keresztény életben. It's in the spirit of God. És ez szellemében van. But it's locked up. De be van zárva. In the flesh. A testben. My God. It's locked up in this. Be van zárva ott. So you must renew the soul. Meg kell újítanod a lelkedet. Which is mind, will, and emotion. Amit akaratod és érzelmeidet. And once your mind is removed. És amit az elmét. No, no. When your mind is renewed. Ha meg van újítva. Az elmét. Az elmét. Okay, when your mind is renewed by the word of God. Isten egy ilyen által. Then the, your soul. Akkor a lelked. Began to follow your spirit. Elkezd a lelked a szeremedet követni. And once your soul and spirit is in unity then your body will follow through Amen. did you hear that? but not if you do what your flesh says not when you fulfill the lust of the flesh not when you still sinning You can't even stay Christian. If you not repent to all of your sins, and you're just a carnal Christian, I don't even know if there exists a carnal Christian anymore because there's no such a thing. If you carnal, you carnal. You are not saved. Amen. Truth. You're not Christian. You can read Bible. You can go to church. Listen to teachings. Even sing worship songs. It's, it doesn't matter. It's just a fashion. Nem számít, az csak egy divat. You are a a a a a a, a, a Christian fashionista, right? Like a, a you know. Because it's better fashion than sure. other. Mert jobb jobb divat mint más. It sounds better, you know. It's just religion. Csak vallás. But real Christianity. De a az igazi kereszténység. See, does not know sin. Did you hear that? Yes. Real Christianity does not know sin. This is why in the John Mail, Janos Levelei. Janos Levelei. Okay, in 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 the mails of John, praise God. John says. Janos has told you. That if you truly born again, you cannot sin. Nem cselekedhet bűnt. You're not gonna sin. Nem fogsz bűnt cselekedni. I know you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, because we sin. Oh, a bűnt cselekszünk. When we fulfill the lust of the flesh. Ezt a kívánságot becsült. When you're not walking in the spirit. Kor nem járunk a szellemben. Now it can happen to anybody. Yes. Bárkivel megtörténhet. Even with me too. Még velem is. This is why. First John one nine says. Ami azt mondja, hogy első János egy kilenc. That if we sin, hogyha cselekszünk bűnt, we have an advocate with the Father. Van egy közben járunk az Atyánál. If we sin, if we confess our sins, He's faithful and just to forgive us our sins. Hogyha megfolyik a bűneiket, őséges és igaz, hogy megbocsássunk nekünk. Praise the name of Jesus. But He wrote this at the beginning. Ez a kezdetén írta. For those. Azoknak. Hallelujah. Who are still babes in Christ. Yes. But if you don't grow, you're not going to last. To, to mature in Christianity, it's not an option. It's not a democracy. It's a command. Hallelujah. You have a king. If you don't grow, he will kick you out. Yes. This is Bible. This Bible. I'm just saying it a different way. Because in the book of Revelation, the Bible says, if you don't repent, I will spew you out of my mouth. Because he cannot take the lukewarm. Okay. Are you listening? You must learn to walk in the spirit. 
so that the graces of God can flow out of your life. See, when the graces of God is evident in your life, then you will walk in the evidence of the gospel. Akkor az evangéliumnak a bizonyítékában fogsz élni. That he is alive. Hogy ő életben van. Hallelujá. Hallelujá, Jesus. Bless your name, O Lord. In 2 Corinthians 12.9. A 2 Korintus 12.9. The Bible says this. And he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you. My strength is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, most gladly, I will rather... Boast in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Kettő Korintus 12, 9. És ezt mondta nekem, elég neked az én kegyelmem, mert az én erőm erőtlenség által végeztetik el. Nagy örömes dicsekszem az én, az én erőtlenségeimmel, hogy a Krisztus ereje lakozzék én benne. Did you hear that? Amen. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Paul said. Pál azt mondta. Or, or actually, this is what uh, the Lord said to Paul. Remember, Paul is praying. The Lord set me free. There is a messenger of Satan that buffeting me. Oh, hallelujah. And then he said, the Lord, my grace is sufficient for you. My strength is made perfect in weakness. You have to understand something. Many of us want great ministries. Many of us want to preach the gospel. Many of us want to be a great man of God. Let me tell you something. Be happy. Örülj annak, what God gives you. Amit Isten ad neked. What God gave to Paul the apostle. Amit Isten adott Pál apostolnak. It was so valuable. Olyan értékes volt. It was so much revelation. Ő sok kijelentést kapott. He used him so powerfully. Ön erőteljesen használta. That God allowed. Hogy Isten megengedte. That the enemy send out. Az ellenség kiküldte. A messenger of uh, a messenger. To buffet him. To 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 keep him humble. So that by the weakness that he had, he can be strong. The more God uses you, the more revelation you get, the more influence you have, the more persecution you will have. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My grace is sufficient for you. So what God is saying to him, Paul, the graces of God is enough for you. Remember, hallelujah, that you have to suffer through life and serve me. There is going to be some good times. There is going to be some blessed times. But you are going to have a lot of persecution because the responsibility on you is very big. You're going to write most of the New Testament of the Bible. And your name is going to be big in the world. One of the greatest apostles. See, he did not know that at that time. In second, when you read 2 Timothy 4, Almost everybody left him. There was even people left him for the world. At the end of his life, he did not know the impact and the influence that he made. And actually, many people hated him. Even... Uh, Many people from Asia and many other places. So at the end of his life, he did not know how much impact he had. 
He just knew one thing. He just wanted to know the Lord. He just wanted to be with Him. That was His only thing. Now, grace of God, the power of grace, and the grace to even minister. The grace of God upon your spirit man. The divine influence and enablement of God in your life. You need it. To stay with the Lord. Hallelujah. But also. Without it. It is illegal to do anything in the kingdom of God. Anything you do by your own strength. You can only serve God with His strength. You can only serve God with His grace. When somebody without the Spirit of God, without the anointing of God without the graces of God ministers he is the enemy of the cross did you hear that? what anybody do for Jesus it doesn't mean anything but whatever Jesus does through you will remain eternal so, in the end of your life, when you stand before Jesus, everything you did by your own strength, you did by your own strength, for God, okay, or in His ministry, in His kingdom, it will burn. But whatever Jesus did through you will remain. That has only eternal value. And His strength, His grace, the power of grace manifests through the Spirit of God. This is why Zechariah 4, says, 4 6 says, Not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. Did you hear that? Hallelujah. By his spirit. By his spirit. By his spirit. By his spirit. Oh, by his spirit. In 2 Corinthians 13, 14. The Bible says the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Ghost be with you all. Many times, Sokszor, in our life, életünkben, in our Christian life, we think like this. Oh, if I would just have more power. From God. More anointing. Like, I would be able to do this and that. A lot of time, we pray, Oh Lord, give me power. Power. More power. I want to be like you. I want to do your work. Good intentions. Right? Good intentions you have. But you don't need more power. It's not power that you need. No. A better relationship. Yes. With Holy Spirit. Who has all the power. The same way with the graces of God. You need, you need a better relationship with the Spirit of the living God. And say Holy Spirit. I need your grace. I need you, Lord. Without you, I can do nothing. But with you, I can do all things. Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. Now, but there is something very important and vital. As long as your eyes is still blind, as long as you still have 
the sunglasses of religion. Az itt még a, a vallásnak a szemüvege rajtad van. Or the religiousness of the sunglasses of religiousness. A vallásosságnak a szemüvege. Okay. Or the deception of the sun, the sunglasses of deception. Vagy a a, a megcsalásnak a szemüvege van rajtad. You're not going to be able to see the grace of God. The grace of God is must be seen. First in your life. Then other people have to see it in your life. Hallelujah. You listen. Amen. Hallelujah. In the book of Acts, chapter 9. Az abcsák 9. fejezetében. They have the story of Paul the Apostle. Pál apostol története van. How he was Saul and goes and tried to persecute the church. Hogy Saul volt és ment üldözek a kereszténységet. And in the road of Damascus. És a Damaszkuszi úton. He met with Jesus. Találkozott Jézussal. And from his glory. A dicsőségétől. And that bright light. A nagy világosságtól. Blinded his eyes. Megmagyított a szemeit. And then he fell down on the floor. And then he asked, Lord, who you are? Who you are, Lord? And he said, it's Jesus. 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 That you, whom thou you persecute. But watch this. In, in verse 18, a 18. versben, abcsak 9-ben. See, God gives Saul, Paul the Apostle, right? Who became Paul the Apostle. He gives him a, a word of knowledge, Tehát, uh, a vision. And then he gives a vision to Ananias and speak to him. And they meet together. And then what happens here? Shall we turn is connected to the power of grace. Mm -hmm. 9 says this, watch this. Immediately there fell from his eyes something like scales. Mm -hmm. And he received his sight at once, and he arose and was baptized. Now watch this. What was the first thing that Paul the Apostle saw in his new life when he opened his eyes and he began to see? It was Ananias. You know what Ananias means? The grace of Jehovah. Jehovának a kegyelmét jelenti. So when Paul opened his eyes, he saw the grace of God. He saw the grace of Jehovah. Jehovának kegyelmét látta meg. As long as your eyes is blind, addig még a szemed vak. You cannot see the grace of God in you. Amit meg látni az Isten kegyelmét. And nobody can see the grace of God here. Because the grace, as I said it, the grace of God is must be seen. It has to be appearing in your life. Not just the saving grace. But the miraculous grace. The sustaining grace. Every type of grace. If God the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob is the source of your life. Now watch this. When Barnabas and Saul were sent to Antioch, they began to manifest the grace of God. People began to say, and there is all kinds of things that are beginning to happen. In Acts 11, 22-23 says this. Then news of these things came to the ears of the church in Jerusalem and they sent out Barnabas to go as far as Antioch. Can you pull it back down please? Thank you. Elhatott pedig a hír ő felőlük, a Jeruzsálemi gyülekezet fülébe, és kiküldték Barnabást, hogy menjen el egész Antiókiáig. 
And when he came and had seen the grace of God, he was glad and encouraged them all that with the purpose of heart they should continue with the Lord. Ki mikor oda jutott és látta az Isten kegyelmét, örvendezett és intette minnyájukat, hogy áltató szívvel maradjanak meg az Úrban. Watch this. The Bible says mondja, that when Barnabas came, Barnabas jött, Hallelujah. When they sent Barnabas from Jerusalem, Barnabas he saw the grace of God. Can we see the grace of God in your life too? Can we see the grace of God in your life? Oh, praise the name of Jesus. The power of the grace of God. That we need not just the saving grace, but His miraculous grace, His sustaining grace, and all the graces that He has for us. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. And you know, I told you before this story, but I'm going to tell you again. David and Goliath. The story of David and Goliath. In 1 Samuel 17:40, we see something amazing about the power of grace in this story. The Bible says here that he took his staff in his hand and he chose for himself five smooth stones from the brook and put them in a shepherd's bag, in a pouch which he had, and his sling was in his hand and he drew near to the Philistine. És kezébe vette botját, és kiválasztotta magának a patakból öt sima követ. Eltevi azokat a pásztori szerszámában, mely tele volt, tudni a tarisznájába, és paritjával kezében közeledett a filiszteushoz. Now you know the story. És mi a történetet? I don't forget into too deep with it. Oh, watch this. David. David. We know he's the shadow of Christ. Tudjuk, hogy a Krisztusnak az árnyéka. Okay. He was shadowing. Jesus, Christ, the anointed one, the great shepherd. Now David was a shepherd too. Right here. So when he goes with his staff, he went to the brook and he chose out five stones, five smooth stones. Okay, very important. Why he pick up five stones? Because David knew that five is the number of grace. It was known, very much known uh, in those times. In Israel, that numbers mean something. He knew that five is the number of grace. I heard before and and uh, people said some different ways and different things, praise God. Okay, but five is the number of grace. And he knew it. Okay. In 1 Peter 2, 5, the Bible says that you are also living stones and are building up a spiritual house. Okay, now watch this. This brook has been there for a long time, working on those stones to be smooth. And only those stones remained that went through the process of refinement. A, a refinement, okay. and they were deeply rooted in the bottom of the brook. So only those remained, and only those that was chosen out, that was deeply rooted, and they went through the process of the rough edges broken off of them. This is what the Bible says. Many are chosen. Uh, many are called. Many are called. Yes, many are called. But few are chosen. Because they are not willing to pay the price. They are not willing to go through the process of refinement. If you want to be used by God, you must go through the process. 
Hmm. It costs. It has to cost you everything. That means you're going to get rid of your time. As it does, Ben. Your your diligence. A soga on my shagot bond. That you live your life purity and holiness. Sanctify this 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 shagot. In sanctification. Make sanctification, Ben. And go to the Lord every day. Spend the past two hours with Him. And spend time with Him and His Word. You see the third that is just just Igey Evel. Hallelujah. Amen. So only those stones stayed. Because of the covenant maratag. That went through the process. We give them a fire. Those who are rooted and built up in Christ. Because when you get as a Christian, in Colossians two seven, the Bible says, "Rooted and built up in Him, and established in the faith, as you have been taught, abounding in thanksgiving." Colossians two seven. Megjük eredve és tovább épülvén ő benne és megerősödvén hitben, miképpen arra tanítatok bővölködni a hálaadást. So the only way you can be built up by the power of the grace of God. Akkor lehet fölépülni az Isten kegyelmi ereje által. If you're rooted. Ja vagy gyökerezve. In Christ. Krisztusban. And you are unmovable. És elmozdíthatatlan vagy. From Christ. Krisztustól. You have to have His love in your heart. Because in Ephesians three seventeen, Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you being rooted and grounded in love. Hallelujah. God has to work in the rough edges. Istenek dolgozni a kezdő éles oldalakon. Before God can choose you out. Isten ki tudna téged választani. Before the graces of God can manifest in your life. Ez az Isten ki jön meg jön az életedben. The different streams of graces. Oké, okay, meg különféle folyamatai. Not just the saving grace. Nem csak a megmentő kegyelem. But other graces. Nem a más kegyelmek is. The rough edges has to come off. Yes. God has to break off before He can use you and empower you by His grace. Hallelujah! Because after you go through the chipping effect of life, only what remains in you is Christ. His character and His nature. Praise God, and when you're ready. So, if you're ready, God knows when you're ready. So, to just be called as a case. He will take you out. He will take you. The same way as David took out that stone from the brook. Or just give it to David to come back at the potter's board. The next thing happens is he puts you in his shepherd's bag. So, what happens when you come back to your shepherd's bag? And it's dark. It's a shut-in fan. It's dark. It's a shut-in fan. And trials. Dark times come. So they did not kill me. But many times, it's just He's bringing it to your destination. Yes. So can you stay here at the other side of the house? Hallelujah. You must put your trust in the Lord. Hallelujah. And when the Lord reaches with you in in your destination, your destiny. Akkor az úr elmegy veled a te a te sorsodra. And you are shaped and you are smooth. Meg vagy formálva és vagy tisztolva. Every pride is is every pride of rough edge. A büszkeség nem minden rossz oldala lejön. Every lust of rough edge. Minden test kívánságai lejönnek. Everything that is sin is a rough edge. Minden bűn ami rajtad van az lejön. Every bad motives. Minden rossz motiváció. Every every fleshiness. Minden testiség. When it broke off of you. Akkor az letörik rólad. Then the great shepherd. Akkor a nagy pásztor. Take you out from the darkness. Kibesztéged abból a sötétségből. And he will throw you at the enemy. És eldob téged az ellenségre. And any enemy in your life, in your personal life, and in other people's life, will go down and die. In Jesus' name, the same way as Goliath fell down. Every Goliath in your life will fall down in Jesus' name. Now remember, David said, "I come against you in the name of the Lord." I come against you in the name of the Lord. In Proverbs 18:10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and it's safe. Hallelujah. 
Proverbs 18:10. Tehát az erős torony az Úrnak neve, ahhoz folyamodik az igaz és bátorságos lesz. Áleri makusantár. But watch this. De figyeld ezt. In the flesh realm. A test uh, uh, világában. In the realm of the flesh. Testnek részében. The name of Jesus. Jézus neve. From a person's mouth. Egy embernek a szájából. Has no authority. Annak nincs hatalma. Did you hear that? Mm. Only a person. Csak is egy olyan ember, Walk in the spirit. Aki yes. szellembe jár. Righteous. Aki mm. igaz. Repented. Megtért. Only in their mouth. Csak is az ő szájban. When they speak. Hogy beszélnek. In the name of Jesus. Ha Jézus nevében. Mm. Miracles must happen. Yes. Az odának kell hogy történjen. People must be saved. Emberek megtérnek. Healings must happen. Yes. Gyógyulás történik. Did you hear that? When you pray in the flesh, there's no answer. When you worship in the flesh, there's no presence. Whatever you do in the flesh, it's useless. You're gonna come out from the flesh into the spirit. How can you do that? You have to break through by prayer on your knees and say to yourself, My soul, my soul, why are you quiet in me? Why are you tired? I will worship the Lord. I will pray to my God. My soul, my flesh, in the name of Jesus, I'm telling you now, no matter you are tired, no matter you are weak, you will stand up, and I begin to pray, and you will begin to do what I'm telling you to do, because I'm going to walk in the Spirit, I'm going to worship in the Spirit, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, and when you pray, Long enough, the breakthrough comes, and you go from the flesh to the spirit, yes, and the power of grace, Hallelujah. the power of grace, Hallelujah. began to flow in your life, began to come into your life, Hallelujah. and your life will never be the same. Don't worship songs. In your home right now, stand up. I feel Let us pray. In the name of, move yourself now. Move yourself and say, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I pray. In the name of Jesus. As I pray. To my heavenly Father. I thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. The grace of God. That you poured out on my life. Because of Jesus. Because he died for me, I have the grace of God. I have the graces of God. In the name of Jesus, I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, to pour out your grace, more volume. Pour out your grace. Pour out your grace. And right now, everybody who's watching, let the graces of God, let the power of grace, let the power of grace come upon their life. Your saving grace, your saving grace, your saving grace, your sanctifying grace, in the mighty name of Jesus, every grace, every grace, graces of the Holy Spirit, miraculous grace. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we pray right now for the grace of God, for the grace of God, begin to manifest right now, right now, and whoever needs healing, in the name of Jesus, 
Heal them, O oh Lord. Touch them, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Let the grace of God. Let the grace of God come upon their life. Right now. Right now. The power of grace. The power of grace. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We worship your name, O oh Lord. We worship your name. <coughs> We worship you. 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 We worship you are touching people. In Jesus' name. Anybody who is sick, even with this COVID, in Jesus' name, receive your healing now. Every lung, every lung, be healed now. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every sickness. Every sickness. In the name of Jesus. Every types of cancer. In the throat. In the stomach. In the leg. Be healed. Now. In the name of Jesus. Every spirit of sickness. Out. Now in the name of Jesus. We bless your name. We thank you Lord. For healing. In the name of Jesus. Worship your name. Thank you, Lord. We are praying also for uh, there was a prayer request. The person who got uh, who had uh, who had accident this weekend here in Toronto. His name is Renato. Lord, we pray right now. In the name of Jesus. Lord, heal him. From the top of his head to the soles of his feet. And we pray, O oh Lord. Save him, Lord. We pray for a salvation of his soul. In the name of Jesus. Let he be able to receive his Lord and Savior. And heal him, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, right now, from the top of his head, any brain injury, be healed right now. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, touch your people, Lord. Touch them, O Lord, by the power of your grace. Have mercy on them. Have mercy on us. Let your mercy flow. Let your grace flow. Right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I worship you. I worship your name. I worship your name. I worship your name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. How about what about a sacrifice? Worship your name. I worship your name. 
I pray right now divine protection your precious blood to cover oh Lord. right now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus divine protection right now in Jesus name divine protection in Jesus name hallelujah heavenly father we thank you for all that you have done today Lord we pray to continually in Jesus name put out your grace put out your grace in Jesus name put out your grace in Jesus name upon everybody the Lord bless you and keep you Lord, the Lord make his face to shine upon you lift up his countenance upon you give you his grace give you his peace in the name of Jesus receive the blessing now Shalom, shalom, shalom. In Jesus' name, God bless you and keep you. Bye. Have a good night in Jesus' name. Bye. 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 Bye.